Welcome to this new mixed media shorty where I walk you through the layering for my week 13 a layer a day challenge. <music> Like I said in the prompt, I decided to work with a photo of my two boys at my eldest son's birthday seven years ago. Um, so I already stuck that down in my journal and then to blend it just a little bit in the paper I'm using a little bit of gesso that I'm simply applying with a brayer. The next day I came back to it with absorbent ground from golden just applying it with a palette knife to make sure that i have enough absorbency and not too much resist from the gesso once done i walked away and left it to dry I was itching to start adding color, but not just yet. One more day of only white using my warp grid stencil and some hard modeling paste from Golden, applying a little bit more texture and then again walking away, leaving it to dry. Still no color because this photo needs some protecting. So I'm going in with ultra matte varnish, which will be completely invisible once dried on the photo. Finally, finally some colors. So I'm using my Neo Colors 2, which are water soluble. And I'm blending it with some water, of course. The result was way too soft to my liking, so I went back in with the same colors, but this time in fluid acrylics, applying them as a watercolor effect. I wanted to add some stamping, so I chose one of the stamps from my Sinuosity stamp set and using the London Fog uh, Memento ink, which is a grey one. And then also adding some details using a charcoal pencil and blending it with a blending stump. I took out my Butterfly Whispers mixed media stickers and these are the ones for the April A Layer A Day challenge. It was quite disturbing to already have my focal point on the paper. Usually that's what I end with. So I tried to find ways to make that work for me and while well, adding a frame to it was one of the things. Thank you. 
As I was quite sure how to continue this, well, I just went in with some doodling. I took a Unipen pen, this is a brownish one, and just added some more doodling around the texture that I had. That actually gave me some time to think, and then I knew what I wanted to do next. I took out my To The Moon and Back stencil, the small version of it, and a white Posca pen, and just traced the circle on the spread to add some lightness and playfulness to it. For the wording, I took out another one of my Butterfly Whispers stickers, still from the April A Layer A Day Challenge sheet. And then went back in with the same pen that I used around the modeling paste and went over the white to tone it down just a little bit and to add even more playfulness to it. To accentuate some more of that white, I added a little bit of white thread under the wording. Last day and last layer, I came back in with a grey neo color, still water soluble, just to take out some of the white of that wording sticker to tone it down just a little bit. And then I also used a charcoal pencil to add some shading here and there on the spread. And that's it. It took me five minutes a day and I have a wonderful memory to look at from my boys. The prompt was, what makes you happy? And I answered just that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on the next video. Meanwhile, don't forget to put down a layer a day. Butterfly kisses.